Hi, this is Professor Jay from Jay Academy and today we are going to do multiplication using Booth algorithm. So we'll see that what are the steps in doing uh, the multiplication using Booth algorithm. So there are two steps. First is that transforming the multiplier into Booth recording of the multiplier. That is the first step and second step is that multiplying the multiplicand with the booth recorded multiplier. So that is the second step. So first we need to learn that how to record a multiplier into a booth recorded multiplier. The rule of booth recording is that the multiplier is scanned from right to left and there is a table which tells how, how to booth. So if you are going from right to left and the bit are 0 and then 0 then the booth recording will be 0. If it is 1 0 it is plus 1, 0 1 it is minus 1, if it is 1 1 it is 0. So you just need to remember this table. I will tell you a trick in which you can do the booth recording. Let's go forward. The second part is multiplying with the boot multiplier. So what we can see is that when you do a recording of the multiplier you will get 0, then you can get a plus 1 or a minus 1. Okay. So when you are multiplying with 0, with a multiplicand you will get a 0, with plus 1 you will get a multiplicand itself. But if you are multiplying with minus 1 with the multiplicand, you will get a 2's complement of the multiplicand. So let us do the first step is that we have to multiply plus 13 with a minus 6. So all these are in 2's complement. If you don't know how to do the 2's complement, do check my video on number system. And here first we will do what this is my multiplier. So we will write the multiplier that is 11010 and then we need to do the both recording. So here in the rightmost place you just write a small zero. This is the implied zero that you have to insert. <coughs> and then you need to scan the entire multiplier from right to the left. So my technique is that either it's up to you whether you can remember this table and do the booth recording or for example you have when you have 0 0 it will be 0 right so so this is 0 0 it will be 0 that is one way the other way I'm going to tell is that this is the first component and this is the second component. So from the first when you subtract the second what is the value you are getting? That means 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 1 is minus 1, 1 minus 0 is plus 1, 0 minus 1 is minus 1 and 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So you are going to get a booth recorded as 0 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 0 so with this new multiplier you need to multiply with the multiplicand 0 1 1 0 1 let's check out so when you multiply here you do one thing before you multiply you know there is a minus 1 so you require a 2's complement of this. So do get a 2's complement of the multiplicand in the rough column. So what is the 2's complement of the multi multiplicand 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So 1's complement is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. Add 1 to it. It is 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Now let's start multiplying this entire new problem. So this is my multiplicand. This is a boost multiplier. So when you multiply with 0, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bits. So you will get 10 bit as the answer. So you will get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
and then you have to do a sign extension. So what is the sign here? Is sign is here is zero. So you have to extend that one, two, three, four, five more places. Next you have got minus one. So when you are multiplying with minus one, you have to get a two's complement of this. So two's complement already we got it. So we are going to write here one, one, zero, zero, one. The sign bit here is one, so you have to extend this one, 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 one. Now next you are multiplying with plus one, so you are going to get the same value. So you will get one, zero, one, one, zero. The sign is zero, so you have to extend that sign. Next again you have to multiply with minus one, that will get a two's complement of the multiplicand. So the value will be one, one. Zero zero one and extend the sign. Next, you have got a zero. Three four five. Extend the sign. Now do the addition. So when you add, so if you add this, this will be zero. This is one. This is zero carry one. This is zero carry one. This is one carry one. This is one carry one. This is zero carry one. This is one carry one. This is one carry one. This is one. So this is the answer you are getting. So now you you need to check out whether your answer is correct or not. So since it is one, so this indicates a negative sign. You have to take a two's complement of the remaining value. So what is the two's complement of the remaining value? So let me take. Eraser. Let's take a pen. Okay. So two's complement will be of one one zero one one zero zero one zero. Is zero zero one zero zero one one zero one plus one. It will be zero zero one zero zero one 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 zero. So what is the value it indicates? This is one two four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four. So that is sixty four plus six. That is seventy seventy eight. That is minus seventy eight. So let's check out out our problem. It is plus sixteen plus thirteen. Into minus six, that is coming to minus seventy-eight. So we got a right answer. So this is how you need to multiply. If you have any doubt or any question with regard to this, you can send me a message in the comment. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, do send us a comment. subscribe like and share it that's all folks